uh, closer to, um, you know, getting out of jail or rather stepping free. It was a terrible deal. I think this must have been the worst transfer deal ever in the history. In our of history, football. yeah. Uh, in the history of anybody, even Man United, <laughs> that's always getting fleeced. Uh, I don't think they've been fleeced this badly. Uh, OK, maybe Pogba, I don't know. I don't know how much, how much he was in wages, but, you know, it's bad. It's really bad. But there you go. This is it. We've done the best we can. We've done very well in the transfers. We really have. You know, the transfer window shipped off a lot of players didn't allow Liverpool to mug us off despite their aggressive attempt to do so. They ended up mugging themselves off. Got yeah, them, yeah. you know, revamped our midfield. And um, the only thing left now is this uh, utility forward that is intriguing. Nobody really knows who that is. Uh, and I hope we, we, do, we do a wise choice. If not, let's not panic by and then the sale of Kalamatsunadoi and Malang Saar. We yeah, can get those two out. They're, they're two Great. big wages, Roger. Uh, no, Roger, Bobby. They're two big yeah. wages. Right, next one to talk about is Kukurea. Now, we've got a bit of a problem here, guys. There is a story linking this guy with Man United. Mm -hmm. One for you, Bobby, is can we yeah. afford to let him go? Is, are we going to Matson's on his last year if he signs yeah. a contract yeah let him go if he doesn't sign a contract we could actually sell Matson. so I don't know if this is something that's on the cards he doesn't seem favoured by Pochettino he's not getting any game time uh, mm. how do you think the left back is going to get, uh, the left back situation is going to get solved because you've got maybe three players there you could also stick Colwell in because he's sort of been playing left back so you've maybe get four players that can maybe play in that position how do you think we're going to work this out we've got a few days we could sell two players mm. you said a lot of um or, or of the facts about it i mean look um, pochettino relatively certainly in the last two is it three games he plays the proper wing back system in that his left and right backs, particularly the left back, is quite high up the field. Um, um, and they are a left winger stroke wing back, whereas the likes of people like Tuchel would play your, their wing backs as, in, as inverted uh, uh, to invert into midfield to help support the then very weak midfield. Now ah, we don't. Now we don't really have that problem. Um, he uses one of them as a winger. And that would suit Martin. I, I have heard he likes Martin. Uh, he's impressed by him. And quite clearly, he wants to keep him. Now, the contract, you know, one he has rejected. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I would like to think it is to do with uh, playing assurances like Corwell was rather than right. Wendy. Uh, I would like to think that I haven't heard the reason why, but it seems likely. And if that's the case, then we can be slightly confident that he will sign, especially if we loan out um, um, Cucurella. Uh, he, it will encourage him to know that, look, he's more in our plans than isn't. And you know what? If he signs, he's likely to play a lot of the games anyway, because come October, max November, we tend to have Chilwell out injured till may anyway so that's what Chilwell has shown us in the past three seasons yeah i'm not too sure we've got reason to think otherwise unless he proves otherwise yeah so, i'm not confident neither am i so initially so, my instinct was oh crikey why are we getting rid of um cucurella when we foolishly got rid of our best li left back in the form of of lewis hall but that's done but if that means that uh um, uh, uh, Pochettino does indeed trust Martin in that area who who is at the moment as far as I'm concerned the better of the three in that left area I don't know about left back because we haven't seen him in left back at all for Chelsea uh, this summer um, and in pre-season well this summer so uh, I, I, I would I would be inclined to say that if the club agree the deal, the loan deal, it means they are confident of Martin signing the contract. Or you might find Martin signs the contract and then the loan deal is done. I don't know. 
But yet again, Man, Man United have a choice of three players, of which Cucurella is one. How badly do they want Cucurella is left to be seen. Also, Bobby, we could also put a stipulation, a recall in, if God forbid Chilwell is hurt. You know? Will United uh, agree to that? Because the reason mm. they want him in the first place is that they've got a wrong, long-term injury to... Um, oh, gosh, what's that left-back of theirs? Um, Hall. Uh, not Hall. What's his name? Um, oh, yeah, the guy that had his leg broken. What, um, left- oh, gosh. I always forget his name. And then he'll yeah. suddenly come to me. Uh, England uh, left-back They came well. from Southampton, yeah. You talking anyway. to Shaw? Shaw, yeah. Yeah, Luke oh, right. Shaw, I thought right. it was a hard one. I Shaw. didn't think it was an easy one. <laughs> no, of course it's an easy one. It's just, you know, names tend to go out of my head these oh, days. There's right. so cool. many to remember in the Premier League. Chelsea, Chelsea boy, one, two, three, four. He's helped you. I, yeah, I thought you were yeah. talking about somebody else. I didn't think it was something as obvious as Shaw. Yeah, <laughs> it is Luke Shaw. You know, just a little bit of a brain. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I was like that today. My brain yeah. wasn't working. I thought, oh, no, I've got a show tonight and my brain's just not working. Uh, honestly, <laughs> Mitchie boy, we... We have to remember so many names in Chelsea yeah. alone, not to mention other clubs. And it's, it's so easy to get a little. I, brain, I'm just brain. a Chelsea specialist. I don't try and learn the world. I used to be like that, but now I just concentrate on Chelsea. Kumbar, oh. Kumbar, what do what are you think about this left back situation? What, what, what's your thoughts? Um, how do you I think, think he's going to? Have... How do you think he's going to go with it? I think we can all agree that um, Cucurella isn't. Um, up to standard to be a you know a Chelsea player. He has his he has his he has his weaknesses, right? But at the same time, I don't understand why we could potentially strengthen a top four rival in United and not have um guarantees of like an obligation to buy. If we're gonna give him to United, right, if they're gonna take him off us, they have to then have to be have to buy him. Why are we just gonna do you know do them a favour, give them a left back for the season and then come yeah. back to us? I don't understand it. Well, they it's are, just, they just so off, right? But like, um, like um, uh, Bobby Signals was saying, right? If we have like um, guarantees that Matson's going to sign a contract, or potentially does sign a contract before Kukrela leaves, then I'm all for I'm all for that because I want to keep Matson. That that he he's, he could be our future. You know, he's he's a, he's a really good talent. He's he's been fantastic in preseason, and I, I've got a lot of hope for this boy, this you know, this young boy. So. Ideally, we keep him and we'll flow Cucurella because I don't think Cucurella, like I said, I think we all can agree that he's had a tough, tough start at, at, at life at Chelsea. He's, he, he hasn't hit the ground running. He 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 he's, he he doesn't seem suited for Premier League. You know, it's a it's a it's a really tough league. It's you know you have to be strong, you have to be physical. It's just he not like not, not a the, type of player. He was Brighton's player of the year two years ago, though. Yeah. I, I, I do yeah, yeah, um, because of the way they play, well, we, yeah. we, we don't we don't play that way. You know, they're they're, they're very, you know, sort of agile, fast and moving. Play. We we don't play like that. You know, we, we we've usually got like that um, big number nine and you know players who, who, who can play off him. That's that's the way we play. But but yeah, you know, I don't want to be helping a rival like Man United um, if they're not guaranteed to buy them. I don't understand this, you know, loan and then giving back to us. I don't understand that. It has to be permanent, in my in my yeah. opinion, and Jim. to have guarantees that we're going to have cover there. Metal face doom. Uh, it looks like we can't sell them because probably nobody's came in for them. So now we're looking at a loan. Uh, how do you think mm. we're going to set up at the back? Out of Colwell, Chilwell, well, Kukaria, yeah. Matson. How do you think Poch is going to go? He's going to have to pick two. Well, see, that's the thing because with Poch, I didn't think he'd go with the back three. He went with the back three against Liverpool and West Ham. I thought he would have gone with a back two back four, sorry, against uh, Luton, but it seems he's stuck with his gun to the back three. And I don't think Kukurela is a half-bad player. He, he's he been bad last season, but tell me a player he wasn't bad last season. He got man of the match against Dortmund. I can't remember if it was the first or second leg. Um, must have been the second. But um, I, I think he's got a future. And with us loading Hall out, he's going to go next year. To balance the books, I I think we should keep keep Cucurella, as in for that like rotation or backup to Chilwell, because we don't know if Chilwell's going to last the whole season. We haven't seen Madison play left back for us. We've only been seeing him playing up front, 
whether that's the wing or whatnot. I think we should keep him, but it's a lot of wages on the book. He's a big player. I think we should only load him out if we know that the United will buy him or if we can get him off. Because I, I don't want him to think that oh, he's surplus to requirements or whatnot. But at the end of the day, it depends what Potts wants and what he sees fits because he's the gaffer. We need to give him the keys, you know? Yeah, 170 grand a week, isn't he, for a player that's sitting, not getting played, really, though? That metal much. face. It's, 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 that's oh. the wage he's on, and he's not playing. So to me, that's a first team player wage, Doom. Oh, yeah. For Kukurea. Yeah, he's not worth that. Yeah. That's... Uh, Roger, yeah, what, what, what's your yeah. thoughts on it? You're, you're next, buddy. Yeah, no, I understand what the gentleman said, but um, I'm actually not convinced that he's actually Chelsea's quality. I mean, I, I get the point and I concede that last year. You, I mean, probably the tea lady sucked also, right? But going to this chap, you know, if, if our new coach doesn't value him either, doesn't believe he's good enough to, to play also, we haven't seen a minute of him, have we, this season? So this doesn't bode well. He doesn't have... I don't believe he has the coach's confidence at all. Yeah, uh, so nobody's gave me an answer. Out of Colwell, <laughs> Chilwell, Kukaria and Matson, what two do you think he's going to go with? You mean to keep? Yeah, because he could, he could, we might sell Matson if he doesn't sign a contract. We might loan yes. Kukaria. So we this could end up factor. getting ready two players and he might just stick. Caldwell as the other left back. He won't Joe sell Wade. Martin. He won't. You know, if it comes to it, uh, because of the big wages of Cucurella, he will keep Martin and and um, and uh, 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 Chilwell. Martin has a whole season at least to sign a new contract. If he doesn't, they might they might risk just letting him go on a free. Um, you know, that way you really lose anything. But if you you will gain something by getting uh, Cucurella off the wages. And that compensates for, for um, one, giving him for a season to Man United without the option to buy. And two, if um, Martin decides to walk at the end of the season, at least we still have Cucurella to fall back on. So it will be Martin and Cucurella. Um, what happens if Martin wants to Martin leave? Though? And Chilwell. If Martin wants to leave, I don't think he said he wants to leave. That you know, if he says he wants to leave, well, he's got three days. <laughs> you know I, I, what I'm I, saying? The, the question think, is, I, I think he's got to sign a contract in the next three days, or we yeah, going to sell exactly. Him? Well, you can't force him, can you? If I'm looking at I'm looking at a situation where if he doesn't, if it's a big if, if he doesn't, do we keep paying that wages because we are we feel we need to sell Martin, or do we get rid of the wages for a season and get this guy, you know, have that cover um, in Martin until he comes back uh, until you know we're forced to take back Chilwell. I mean, uh, Cucurella, I know it sounds complicated. The thing is, we have a whole season, oh, well, at least up until January, uh, where he can talk to anybody, I believe. Um, we have a whole few months to try and persuade Martin. And if he's playing, that helps the cause anyway. Unless he's asking for 300k a week, then that's stupidity. He has to go. But if he's asking for playing time, I think this is the best way to show him he's going to have the playing time. That's how I see it. I, I, I think at the moment the person of the three at a disadvantage is Cucurella, unless all of a sudden we decide, OK, in the next three days we're selling Martin. But to who? New, who was it that came for him? Was it Newcastle at one time? But they've gone cold. West Ham, mm, West Ham have spent a lot of money recently. Uh, I can't see it. So... I know That's he badly, won't maybe. be. Yeah, I mean, he won't be short of suitors, but you know, he won't come cheap at this time of the season. 
Um, I still think uh, uh, the the people Poch will keep will be Martin and Chilwell, personally. But it's you know time will tell. We've only got a few more days. Yeah. So next one, Coomber. Uh, who do you think? Who do you think's likely to come in? They're flinging a lot of names out there: Ferran Torres, Rafinha, uh, Emil Smith Rowe. There, there's a few other like the Cherkies and things like this other guy that that I don't think we're going to get. Who who do you think's likely to come in? Because one, they have to be the right wages and they have to be the right fee. I don't think we're going to spend a hundred million, and I don't think we're going to give three hundred grand wages. Out. What do you think, Coomber? I think. Oh, I've had a lot of rumours about Sancho. I'd love that to happen. I think he's a top 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 quality player. Obviously, hasn't worked at United, but I think his wages will be a, will be a stumbling block there. I think he's on high wages at United, um, so I think I don't think that's a. a that's what I'm data. saying. I don't think it's likely, uh, is it? I, no, I think Cherokee, um, he's a young player. I don't think he's on the greatest wages at um, you know where we. I think is he is he at Leon? I don't think he's on the greatest wages there. Um, there's potential that he comes, uh, you know, he's the sort of player we can come. Is at the right age. He's, he's basically the you know the ideal candidate for uh, for the owners. You know, he's he's at, he's at the correct age. He'll be on a low wage. Um, he he's that player. He fits the you know the model of the owners. So he's probably the more likely. Um, you then got obviously um, obviously Kudos that went to West Ham. Obviously that didn't happen anymore. Um, at the time I did want him. He was my first choice at the time. Obviously we was apparently we put an offering for him as well. Obviously, that got uh, rejected. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I think it's the, you know the the more likely is going to be Cherky, in my opinion. Emil Smith Rowe, I think that's just a just a that's that's just that's just for clicks. I think I don't think there's any any interest in that, any sort of uh, potentially in that in, in, at all. To be honest with you, um, so yeah, I think the more likely one is going to be Cherky, in, in my opinion. See, the problem I've got, who's next? Uh, Roger. and the, uh, Roger, the Cherky thing is, I think PSG put a bid in for him and it got rejected, and it was quite a high bid. So if, if that got rejected, how do we think we're going to get him cheap? Are you there, Roger? Yeah, I'm here, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, listen... I think it's going to be £50 million plus. What do you think? That's a lot. For someone that's 19, that's an yeah. awful lot of golf balls. Um, yeah, see, it, it, listen, the player has to fit the profile, but also has to be affordable. Uh, but then again, if we are going to be selling players like Chalaba, which is pure net profit of, let's say, between 25 and 35, then perhaps that can come to fruition. But 50 is a lot. I just feel this last buy is going to be a sneaky one, maybe a 20, 30 million pound one. I think they're looking in the wrong supermarket. I don't think we're at Tesco's. I think I think we're shopping in Lidl's or something. It's going to be another Jackson type thing. Maybe maybe the, the they're keeping this one under wraps. But Good I don't think that, I think the journalists are just flinging names out there. Oh, for sure. It's I, I don't pay any attention to most of this stuff. It's it's pure boulder dash. Yeah, who it's hard to out? say though. It's, out? it's hard to say what's going to happen. It really is, but I, I think more oh, importantly than getting anyone, I 